the Xcape event. Oh boy. Before we start the video, I'm just going to say, this event is amazing. It's an 8 out of 10 event, 7 out of 10 event, it doesn't matter, it's a really good event. I honestly really enjoyed it. This video, however, will focus only on the cons, not the pros of the event. It will focus on what I think can be improved and some of the issues I had with it. So don't think I hate the event because I actually love this event, it was genuinely great. But as I said, like everything, there are pros and cons. And I think the negatives in this event are just things that are negative in general with DDS, so I just kind of wanted to talk about it. TDS has had a monetization kind of issue recently. They have been adding more monetized stuff, which isn't bad at all. One of these monetized things was the Battle Pass. Once again, before I start, I do not complain about the Battle Pass because it's paid. I actually don't mind, since a lot of games I know also do that. My problem with the Battle Pass, however, is that 1. It drags on for too long and 2. There is a lot of failure. The rewards after level 30 are just... I'm sorry, but I don't want power-ups and 200 XP. Many people have also been saying the skins aren't that great. I don't mind the skins, because the skins fit with the theme, which is kind of like the 90s rock band. And since the theme is of like the 90s, obviously people don't really vibe with that. They aren't the greatest, but they're still pretty good. And we finally got a military-based skin, so how can I complain? But once again, the fillers are just... wow. They are sometimes kind of horrible. And I think it's time to change the format of how you obtain event currency. Turn it back to the times of Solar Eclipse where you just get them up on triumphing or losing. I don't know if losing as well counts because, you know, I haven't played that event. Because the new format of going around and collecting with a battle pass that's the 27,000 candies long just doesn't really work and kind of kills the fun since you just have to play the event mode over and over. So yeah, the battle pass definitely isn't the greatest thing of this event. On to the event itself. This was a major improvement from the last night system, that being Lunar Overture. This was far more balanced. However, here is one thing that is really recurring with TDS events. The bugs. Night 1, when it released, was one of the buggiest things I've ever experienced. I don't know why TDS is often this buggy. Probably because the source code is really old. But like, I don't know how that mess that was Night 1 on release was that buggy. Like, didn't they do some testing? That's kind of what I don't understand. Night 1 on itself was really great. Night 2 as well and Night 3. Contrary to many people, I did not find them boring at all. The cutscene really added on to that. But this leads into the next problem I had with this event. The story. Now, I'm kind of the TDS lore guy, and the visual exposition of the story in this event was great. Cutscene, voice acting, it was amazing. Top notch, really. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It was just so hype. I really, extremely liked it. I can't stress out enough how much I love that. Frosty! Frostbeard! Pink Frostbeard! Pink Frostbeard! Pink Frostbeard! Pink Frostbeard! However, the problem is the story. It's the way they're trying to do the story. The story of Xcape feels rushed. Rushed in the way that they try to pack so much into only three nights. I don't mind the event being a setup for Frost Invasion. Actually, you really like that. The problem is the name of this event is X Escape, Escape from the Hex Dimension. So the Hex was supposed to be the main focus of the event, and then these guys show up, and then the Lord Exoplot, and then the Draco Bloxer, and then there is a whole God Cube, and what the hell is going on? This is the problem I have with the TDS story as a whole. There are too many plot lines. In general, we have the Zombie Apocalypse, the Moltens, the Fallen, Patient Zero, uh, Solar Eclipse, the Solar Eclipse Timeline, the Lunar Overture 1, a Lord Exo, now the Hex, now we also have the Children of Exo, we'll also get Frost Invasion, Th there needs to be something that connects all of this. This event alone had like a bunch of plotlines that just feel disconnected, 
especially in night 3, which I was really looking forward to for the ending of the story, and then the Spectre starts to yap about a realm network, pri or Dexos private realm network, and what, uh, excuse me, what the hell is a realm network? That's kind of what I don't understand, so you're telling me that, like, if the Fallen's are a realm, you can literally, like, call Fallen King and tell him, yo, close the portal, people are about to attack you, like, what? It just feels weird. It's really a mess. That's the problem. They try to fit too much into three nights, and this just doesn't fit. I would have rather this event being only about the Hex and Conserver, and then the Children of Exo being in another dedicated event, and not mixing all together, because that, that just makes the story a mess. Luckily, the animation quality and the voice acting overshadows, like, the flaw the actual, sto actual storyline had. What I think, though, is three nights is not enough to explain um, everything. I think, like, maybe adding even an extra night would have been better, maybe explaining just what the Children of Exo's intentions were, because they had an actual Godcube fragment, also explaining what the Realm Network thing is, and also... Is the artificial god cube made by Conserver? Because he has it? I think it's it just so much left unanswered, even if this was just a setup. I like that they're trying to add lore because it's interesting, but I think there need to be there needs to be some more polishing to do with it. And you can't just pack everything in a single three nights event and call it a day. But yeah, that's pretty much the um, issues I have with the uh, Xscape event. Once again, I'm not ending the event, I think it was really good, it was an 8 out of 10 event, I really, really like this event. I just think its few flaws are recurring in the entire TDS game, and something should definitely be done about that to better the game, you know? This is criticism, constructive criticism, the devs can uh, maybe take this, and this will improve future events. But anyways, thank you guys so much for listening to me yapping about this, this honestly really good event, and I will see you in the next one.